Hey, sup YouTube? So this is Vasta here. Or well, my name's Josh. Um, and this is my first recording with my voice. And um, yeah. So welcome to my YouTube channel. I've already uploaded the video, but that's shit. This is a good video, I think. Um, so in the background, I've got some evac. Things called evac. The evac gameplay with the Cuda. Um, with the Cuda gameplay. I'm about to change. In, I'm about to change in a second. So it is on the BMP. I'm about to change though. And um, I'm just gonna be talking about you know my YouTube and what I want to do and yeah I'll st also give you also give you my opinion on supply drops and just some good gameplay and on the gameplay there's some pretty weird shit that happens like some pretty you know like WTF moments you just think what the hell like, like a bit of frustrating moment stuff and um yeah so I hope you enjoy so so first basically my YouTube is just gonna be mainly around Black Ops 3 and the next Call of Duty is coming out you know the Infinite Warfare and stuff and Oh, you know, and probably I'll do Battlefield One and stuff like that. I can do other games too if you guys want me to. Um, you know, I'm, you know, like if something crazy like GTA Six comes out, which I don't think it will be coming out for ages, I'll do that. But anyway, so you know, I'm just, I'm just, just doing casual stuff. You know, I'm not, I'm not doing this, anything intense, <laughs> anything doing intense. Anyway, so it just you want to know a bit about me. I'm from Australia, um, in, from Tasmania in Australia, which is, if you're not from Australia, that's the little island down the bottom, yeah, um, you yeah, mate, um, and I am in year nine, that's my, I'm turning 15 in a couple of weeks, on the 24th, oh, okay, I wanted to give you too much information anyway, so, yeah, so I'm not like a little squeaker kid, I don't think I am, and, so, yeah, Anyway, so I'm gonna just. Oh, anyway, let's go to Black Ops 3 anyway. So, you know how there's been going around like this big raz with the, you know, supply drops and how it's bullshit and the odds are bullshit and it's not fair, whatever, and it's pay to win and stuff? Well, I, I wanna just discuss something now because, man, the amount of, like, the amount of people complaining, like, players and YouTubers and, I don't know, streamers and er it's just everyone in the whole Call of Duty community, the amount of comp people complaining is just outrageous and. I gotta tell you why it's just it's just ridiculous, and I don't know why you're even complaining because <laughs> there's no reason to complain. And this is this is why, right? You think about supply drops. Right? What do you get from supply drops? Now, just say you have dark matter. Now, I'm not saying everyone has dark matter, but a fair majority have dark matter. Even more majority have hero gear, or at least you know their favorite car carries, whatever. Or they might just have gold, like me. I have on my cooter right now. I just have I just have some gold camo on there. That, that rules out camos and weapons. Wep uh, not camos and character customization skins because most of the time you're gonna choose dark matter or gold or you know or your hero gear over that black market item you might not but most people would and it's better so that's kind of rules out basically most of it what do you got left you got decals calling cards um bloody eyes emblems which are actually really rare um taunts which okay taunts are okay okay but really does it actually affect anything at all? But I actually like taunts, by the way. I like any taunts. But honestly, you know, it's it's all bloody pointless. That I reckon, t for me, the most the most thing I like getting is basically good taunts, especially the legendary taunts. I like them. You know, and if you're if you're if you're, most players, right? If you're not like a complete pro, you know, if if I'm not, if you're like a below average player that can't really get the top three consistently, and you probably haven't got it many times or whatever. You know, you don't, you don't play this really hardcore and sweaty, you just play it because you like playing COD. Well, again, taunts is going to be pretty pointless to you, you're not going to care about that, you know. You, you're not going to be the highest level, you just play this casually, you don't care about, you know, taunts, you don't care about showing off your emblem and all that, you just want to play the game. Um, you know. And this is why this is next stupid thing, and this is the weapons now, people are always complaining about the weapons and supply drops and how it's rigged or whatever. Now, they did, they did obviously have the black market blackout, which is a community thing. And, um, you know, that, that worked, they put in the stupid contract thing, whatever, but really, you think about it, there's only, like, two weapons that are actually any useful, like, in, that actually changed the gameplay. All the melee weapons are the exact same, except for, I think, there's a couple of things, like, the wrench actually kills a frame faster, I think, and the iron gym can kill two people faster or something. That, see that, with the ripper there, that was complete bullcrap, man. I had no idea what just happened, man, just, 
It was like, wasn't, I was like locked onto him, or I was supposed to be locked onto him, it just wasn't, wasn't working, it was really pissed me off, anyway. You know, the only good thing is basically there's the Marshall, um, there's like the Marshall, the MX Grand, and the Shadow Claw, and everything else is kind of, you know, kind of dumpy, and even those three things there aren't the easiest things to use, are they? So, it's not pay to win, right? You think about, what are the chances of getting one of those weapons? Not very. I, I hardly ever die by the, the, um, the MX Grand. I've like never got hardly any kills because I hardly ever find them on the ground. Hardly got any, you know, I get, you know what I mean, like, it doesn't really change the effect. The, the only thing that kind of changes it is the Shadow Claw and the Marshall. Like, you don't expect them, you know, someone's just running their normal gun and they just suddenly pull out this Marshall, pull out a Shadow Claw or something and just kill you, like, instantly, basically, and it kind of pisses you off, but you think about it, People just need to stop complaining about supply drops because there's really not much wrong with them at the moment. But I think the contract thing is a good idea, but they really need to do something about it because nothing's happening. Like, yeah, I know like every single like, huge YouTuber is saying this, they need to do something, but I reckon what they should do is, um, with the, the contract thing, is maybe put in, now, I know I'm talking about this, but I have a really cool idea. Maybe you could maybe, um... I don't know, sorry, that was a dumb idea, but I think something really stupid would have changed anything. Um, like, you know, they have, like, the daily challenge or whatever. Well, if they make supply drops, if they actually made it, like, rare supply drops or something, like, pe if you guys didn't realise, Activision are getting, like, all their money from COD points. People are still, still buying COD points. And I bet you some people still people buy COD points. Um, and, like, it's liquid divinity if you really care about that, but... People are still going to do that, even after the daily and weekly contracts are there. So, the thing is, I don't, they've only done this because we've sold so much hate to them, right? If they never did this, they probably wouldn't bring it out, but, you know, it's a good idea, but there's always going to be those douchebag that spend like $100 on freaking card points. Just end up getting nothing, you know? Like, you might as well just earn them. You know, yeah, anyway. And, you know, people like other Call of Duty games, if it was this kind of time, because I've played um, on Prestige Master or whatever. Usually I would... I didn't make up that fast either. I played like four days, almost five days. I think I played like, I played six days. I don't know. Anyway. Usually I get bored of the game by now. But this game has a really, really good replay value. Like, I can keep... Like, I can still play it and not get bored. I'm not even going for Dark Matter. I can't be bothered. Anyway, so that's just my... That's just my opinion on all of Black Ops 3. And, you know, it's still alive, okay? Like, people are complaining how it's going, it's not dead, it's still such a fun game to play, people are bagging out because it's futuristic, but really, I reckon if everyone went back to the other stuff, people would be surprised, like, they'd be like, oh, how come it's not action-packed or whatever? <sighs> anyway, so, that's it, guys, that's going to be the end of the video, and, um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my very first, like, gameplay with, with some voice on it, I guess. Hope I'm not too annoying, hope my, my quality is okay. Um, if you have any constructive feedback, please comment. Leave a like, please. And, you know, subscribe to the channel. If you don't have to, but I, don't, I hate people that force it anyway. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Leave a thumbs up, please. Peace out.